Hey everybody, it's John Old Man Outdoors. I'm out here by my little Bass Raider boat today and one of the questions that I often see on the forums is, how do you really go about attaching a fish finder uh, on a plastic boat? Now this is also gonna apply not only to the Bass Raider but to the Pond Prowler, uh, Bass Prowler, all the little pelican boats. In other words, the plastic boat is what you have. Now, the problem with a plastic boat, and all of them are pretty much essentially the same is, and it's not so much of a problem as it is just a design factor, and that is there's no center console, uh, there's nothing you know really flat across the front of them. They're just plastic, basically on a pontoon. So you have to work with what you have, and I think I found out a pretty good solution that works for me very well. I'll show you what it is and how to mount the fish finder on a plastic boat. Well, I just realized as I was editing the video that I forgot to talk about the three or four things that you're going to need. You have a T-Track, a hockey puck, and the silicon, and I'll have the links down below as well as for the uh, cable clamps down below in the description. Now let's get on with putting the fish finder in the Bass Raider. Let's start here by talking about the transducer. I've got the transducer mounted on a Scotty mount and uh, I have it on the back of the boat. I found out the back of the boat is better than the side because when it's on the side, it's bouncing up against the uh, boat dock when you're launching. Now the Scotty mount does allow me to raise this up uh, when I launch the boat, uh, that way it doesn't hit. Now I don't uh, travel with it like this, I take it off the mount. Now as you can see, there's the advantage of the T-Track. You can't put a Scotty mount back in some of these places because this is actually curved slightly. But because I've got it lengthwise, uh, I'm able to put that T-Track right in there. This also allows me to use this uh, transducer on any place else that I have T-Track. In other words, I've got it here and then we'll just come on up the boat. I've got it here. I've got it in several places, including on up front. Now, let's go back. Now let's talk about protecting this transducer cable. Now the transducer cable is rather, uh, well, not flimsy is not the word, but it doesn't have a tendency to stay in place. So I've got this uh, wire loom that, uh, that I run it through, and then I've got these little cable clamps right here to attach it to the boat. Remember, always use stainless steel screws when you're using uh, any type of marine hardware. This is the mount. I'm using the Garmin Striker 4. You can see the uh, hockey puck is right down here on a little short piece. This also allows me to move just by using the T-nut. I can unscrew this and put this on any other uh, T-slot that I have throughout my boat. Now, I've got this coming down all the way past the fish finder mount because if I want to mount my fish finder here I have it or I can bring it all the way down to this end where I have another T-track if I'm sitting in front of the boat. Now the reason I've got this trimmer string is if I am running the cable through this loom I found out that this trimmer string is what you need to put first to get a puller going. And you can see just how I've made a loop out of that. You need that loop in it so it can go through the corrugated sides of this right here. So that's how I really mounted the fish finder. And mounting it this way on this uh, hockey puck using T-Track mounted in various places across your boat, it allows me a very flexible outcome. Now, I also have a uh, little battery box, little ammo case that I keep my battery and everything in, and I can move it around anywhere. The battery, or the power cable's not running through it, it, and I've got a separate video on how to make the battery box. So I thought maybe you'd get a little something out of that. It really works for me, and uh, I think you uh, might get some ideas on how to put a fish finder in your plastic boat be intimidated about drilling holes in your boat or finding things. Just get something that works for you and you'll be happy with doing that. Anyway, until we meet again, this is John Old Man Outdoors. We'll catch you out of the water, out in the field, or in the woods in God's Great Outdoors.